March. March here, this marching band. And there's marching involved. I'm marching with a march lies with them. <laughs> What is the score prediction for today? What's the score prediction for today? 3,000 to zero. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Score prediction, Ben? Uh, 14 to 7, and we're going to lose. Yikes, that hurts. Food time. Starts at quarterback. Starting wide receivers. Number five. Who will be starting at quarterback? Number seven. Best receiver in the league. Number eleven. Barrett. He's healthy again. And number three. Luther Burden. Your starting quarterback, number 12. Okay, Brady Cook is starting. You know, I thought there might be a possibility that Sam Horn could have started, but who knows. Our coach by Eli Drinkwitz. The Vandy band was booming over there a second ago. Doing some nice horn moves. Oh, okay, because I know you've been doing it a lot. I only have because I didn't know. Oh, she almost had it. And then also for the chanting tigers. That's more like it. A lot of people here. Alright, it just happened, but Luther Burden had a crazy spin move to get a 35, I believe, yard touchdown. Let's go. And there's the touchdown, Luther Burden. Vanderbilt just missed a 45-yard field goal. Score is still 7-0 with about 8.42 in the first quarter left. Brady Cook just threw the worst possible interception I have ever seen. Straight to a Vanderbilt player for like four yards. Bruh.
touchdown by Luther Burden puts us up 14 to nothing over Vanderbilt with 12-19 left on the clock. And it was a 10-yard rushing touchdown for Luther Burden. We just about had a fight down there on the field after a completed pass by Vanderbilt that was fumbled. Uh, I think Mizzou has the ball back now. We'll see. Under review. I'll let you guys know in the next update. Well, we didn't get the ball back, and it was called that the Vanderbilt receiver didn't have possession. But um, it's been a little while now. We got 5.52 left in the second, and our offense stalled out again, and we punted. Cooper with a big boy ladder and our Vanderbilt friends have joined us here on the sideline for halftime. And there's Rachel. Oh, it's beautiful. We love the sign, right, Nick? Brandon? It's beautiful. After a Mevis 39 yard field goal, we are up 17 0. One second left in the second quarter. What do you think, Brandon? Let's go. But right from 33. About to go on for halftime with our Vandy friends. Vanderbilt finally just scored. They're up 6-17. They're about to kick the extra point here. And it is good. The score is 17-7. 8-07 left in the third. Uh, it was caused by a Brady Cook fumble recovered by Vanderbilt defense. Vanderbilt just missed a 27-yard field goal. Score is still 17-7 with 6-12 left in the third quarter. As you see, people have started leaving. It's definitely not as packed as what it was at the very beginning of the game. We finally have made it to the fourth quarter. Thank the Lord. Plays ago, Cody Schrader fumbled away a ball, and oh, we just about had an interception. But Vanderbilt has the ball now. Uh, literally nothing has happened the entire uh, since the last time I checked in with you guys. Yeah. Well, they just announced that there is over 60,000 people here for the game, so it beat the amount of people that were here for the Georgia game. scoreboard right here. Vanderbilt just scored another touchdown, an 80-yard touchdown pass. Uh, Mizzou is favored by 14 in this game. Uh, Vanderbilt could still come back. 
Um, yeah, uh, who knows what's going to happen. But finally something happened because there hadn't been anything for ages. We beat Vanderbilt 17-14. Wow. We had over, we had like four turnovers. Wow. Your final score, 17-14, Missouri.